one thing I mentioned to a lot of companies that we're starting out with initially that, you know, there's not really a one size fits all development approach when it comes to Power BI reports. I mean, one thing that's crucial is an intimate understanding of your data model in terms of being able to even create your DAX measures. I mean, um, in one report, I may have built a data model that allows me to just use a simple sum in, wrapped in a calculate with a plain filter um, slapped on the end of that calculate function. But then we run into issues in other reports where I've got multiple fact tables, where the dimension tables have to kind of figure out how to move through those fact tables. And it becomes really convoluted. And I can imagine chat GPT's efficacy kind of ending right before we get to that point, especially with more complex projects. Um, you know, I, I can really see an opportunity for me to start using it, especially like what I mentioned earlier, in terms of being able to just understand how some functions in Power BI work a little bit better. Um, you know, I know ChatGPT is building off of a knowledge base that there's a lot of implementations and code snippets out there in terms of how to use a lot of these functions. And if I can at least get a sense of what the syntax is for a lot of functions that I don't use in my day to day, um, I can definitely make good on it because I at least have the experience to that I can build off of to implement them in a in a better way. Right, right. And I the way that I kind of see it is very similar to Tesla's autopilot functionality, right? You still have to be attentive and awake and you can't just let it go on, you know, on its own devices. And I think in general, it's more of like, it can definitely help you kind of boost your production as a whole and speed to market with your code, like Greg kind of alluded to earlier. But we have to realize this is still like very beta in terms of AI. Um, I mean, for example, like right now, that's where this recording is basically regarding GPT-3. And I think they're still developing GPT-4, um, which is supposed to be significantly um, better than this GPT-3 engine. Um, and although I don't think it's going to be the perfect data analysis tool just yet, um, it's definitely one of those things that uh, we need to keep in mind and make sure that we're obviously kind of like learning, working with it so that we can kind of have an idea of should the AI become really good, you know, we don't get replaced. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of like what my father-in-law told me when he introduced me to ChatGPT a couple months ago, where, you know, I kind of brushed it off and said, I don't think I could really find a use for it in my day-to-day. -day. And he was like, well, you should probably figure out a way to use it, because if you don't, then someone is going to come along and be able to use it better than you can. And so I'm definitely looking to start uh, using it at least in a way to replace some of my Google Foo activities, uh, to say the least. Yeah, for me in my kind of day-to-day, -day, I think leveraging ChatGPT, particularly for DAX patterns on more advanced type of functionality, I think would be really useful. Um, I haven't really gotten into testing that just yet. I'm pretty nascent to the software myself. So this has definitely been kind of a good learning opportunity. I think a great way to uh, kind of phrase it is, you know, there are times that you've asked me for help on, on a couple DAX uh, measures and, you know, I'll send you just a rough outline of what I think the code would look like based on what the facts you've told me about your data model. And, you know, I don't hear from you for another two hours and I check in and, oh, seem to uh, be good enough of a jumping off point for you to kind of perfect the code. And I, we've both had it both ways and same thing with Greg where, you know, we just kind of put together a pattern, figure out how to make it work for our data model. And I think that's a great analogy to what chat GPT can offer. If I'm not available or if you're not available for me, then this may be a good way just to rubby, rubber ducky some ideas and get some uh, code on the line. 